what kind of stories you've been covering in the past like 72 hours? We've been documenting the experience of people across Houston who have no power and no water for days who were not prepared to handle a historic freeze. Melissa Correa is a reporter at our sister station in Houston, Texas. When we asked her what the city's biggest problem right now is, she says it depends on the hour. Yesterday, truly, it was a power outage. And still today, I'm talking to you without power bundled up in my home. But now it's increasingly becoming a story of no water. And just this morning, the city of Houston, the fourth largest city in the country, issued a notice for people to boil water. How do you do that when you don't have power? Meanwhile, journalists like Melissa and other people have been pushing on city officials and ERCOT, the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, for answers. And for now, there are none. ERCOT held a press conference around 11 a.m. Central Standard Time in which they said, good news, Texas, you all will be up and running once it gets warmer. Because once the temperatures rise above freezing, the demand for heat will drop. Well, duh. But people need power right now. And unfortunately, ERCOT cannot give a timeline. Meaning Texans who don't have winter gear, who haven't winterized their homes, are dealing with all of this with what they've got. On top of this, Melissa says people have been told to save water. We've been told stop dripping your faucets. You all know this is one of these things to keep water going because firefighters need the water to fight fires and hospitals need the water. So this is where we're at, where there's actually a public call in the city for people to stop using water so firefighters and healthcare workers can do their job. Freezers went down and vaccines have been given out to the best of healthcare providers' abilities. Melissa says some have been lost for good. And all of this reporting done by Texans, Houstonians, who are right there going through all of this themselves. We live in the city too. I was just talking to somebody on the next door app and I said, we don't go back and stay at a magical castle. Like our homes are in your neighborhoods. Melissa also reminded me that carbon monoxide poisonings and house fire calls are up as people are left with really not very many choices when it comes to heating themselves, their family, their children. So it's just a lot of stories of people having to navigate and make very difficult choices. Yeah, that's right. And we know, and most of our viewers know, but to remind them, this comes on the heels of another huge disaster. Hurricane Harvey nearly devastated Houston, and that was just a few years ago. Yeah, that's absolutely right. And I did ask Melissa about that. And KHOU, our sister station down there, along with so many others who have gone through such devastating results from Hurricane Harvey, they had to rebuild their entire station. And Melissa told me that they were all allowed back into this brand new station back in 2019. 2020 hit, the pandemic hit, everyone had to leave the station, and now in 2021, all of them are just either working from their homes or hotels. Yeah, and the latest is power might be on Thursday or when it gets warmer, which is just not an acceptable answer. Thank you so much for following up with our friends in Houston. Sharon, we'll be right back.